This is your prime time forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from Dr. Don's Weather. Now from the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Southern Union State Community College and the East Alabama Bee Company. Here's Dr. Don. Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. Halfway through the work week, it seems like we just got started. Well, wait a minute, we did. <laughs> Yesterday was really Monday, so we're all confused this week. But I tell you something that's not confusing, and that's the fact that we've got great weather for you this week. I'll jump into the forecast here in just a few moments. Maybe some uh, sneaky sneaky going on down there in the Gulf of Mexico, too. If you're headed to the beach this coming weekend, you're going to want to stay tuned to the forecast. But first, don't forget to get in touch with Jamie Duke. Jamie can save you a lot of money with your insurance. And here's the, the neat thing about it. It doesn't cost you anything. And there is zero obligation to find out what he can do for you. So get in touch with him today by scanning that QR code you see on the screen. Click the link at the top of the video or call him at 256-831-7770. And let's find out just how much money Jamie Dukas can save you with Alpha Insurance. So uh, also don't forget to head over to our YouTube channel and click that subscribe button and hit that little bell so that if we go live to cover severe weather, you'll be guaranteed to get that notification. Just general scattered thunder across most of Alabama, uh, maybe parts of West Georgia today, about a 30 to a 40% chance, depending on where you are. Um, these will be isolated thunderstorms, meaning that we're not looking at uh, broad coverage or widespread heavy rain or thunderstorms, just an isolated thunderstorm here or there uh, throughout the day. And then when we head toward tomorrow, uh, we're getting back into a very typical summertime pattern for Alabama and Georgia, where we're talking about a 20, 30% chance of scattered afternoon thunderstorms now, uh, pretty much every afternoon for the foreseeable future. Same thing again on Friday, no real uh, weather systems causing any issues other than this scattered afternoon thunderstorms. Now we are gonna be watching uh, some stuff down in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, the National Hurricane Center is keeping an eye on an area of disturbed weather. Uh, it's disorganized showers and thunderstorms located, uh, associated rather, with a surface trough of low pressure interacting with an upper level trough over the central Gulf of Mexico. Environmental conditions appear only marginal uh, for uh, favorable additional strengthening over the next several days as the system meanders over the eastern Gulf of Mexico. Uh, and then as we head toward the weekend, we're, we're expecting that system to move across the Florida Peninsula and then into the Atlantic. Uh, and there, so there could be some very heavy rainfall uh, occurring across portions of Florida. Now, exactly where uh, right now, it's hard to say. Uh, and there could be some gusty winds involved in all of this too. I think the, the greatest chances for any significant weather is gonna probably be from about Apalachicola across uh, Gainesville, maybe over toward Jacksonville. And then as we head toward the end of the weekend, first part of next week, uh, maybe even over on the Georgia Southeast coast from uh, Brunswick all the way back up to around Savannah or Hilton Head, South Carolina, uh, could be kind of gusty and rainy as well. We take a look at this system on the satellite this morning. You can see it showing up pretty good right there, uh, just south of Apalachicola. It's where the heaviest thunderstorms are. Now, the center of circulation is south of probably Pensacola, due south. Uh, then the heavier shower and convection activity off to the east. That's what will drag across the Florida Peninsula as we head toward Friday night into Saturday and Sunday of this week. No real threat here of seeing anything tropical along the Alabama or northwest Florida coast, although there could be some rough seas there if you're going to be at the beach. Maybe you're still there uh, from last weekend. Uh, just keep an eye on that uh, surf out there. If those red flags go up, get out of the water. You know, that's dangerous uh, if those uh, riptides start to be a problem down there along the Gulf of Mexico. So currently at the East Alabama Bee Company, no riptides there. Um, 64 is your current temperature. The high temperature yesterday was 80. We currently have fair skies. Wind out of the east at 1, gusting to 5 miles per hour. Humidity 93%, the barometric pressure 30.01. No rain the past 24 hours 
Uh, sunrise this morning at 532. Sunsets this evening at 745. And again, don't forget to stop by ML Aubrey's in downtown Roanoke or Randolph Farmers Co-op in Wadawi to pick up a jar of that delicious East Alabama Bee Company honey. So it's uh, 81 this afternoon in Roanoke under partly cloudy skies with a passing shower here and there. 82 in Ashland, Lineville, 81 up in Wadawi and Ranburn, 83 will be the high temperature this afternoon in Lafayette, Alabama. Here's your six-day forecast from the Alpha Weather Center. Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent. 40% chance of a scattered shower and isolated thunderstorm this afternoon. 81 will be your high. We'll dip down to 62 for your overnight low tonight. And then on Thursday, we go back to a 20% chance of an afternoon thunderstorm, and it is what it is, folks. There is your summer forecast. <laughs> we could say that this will pretty much be the forecast. Barring any tropical systems, this is pretty much the forecast now, uh, probably through mid-September, maybe uh, early October. This is what you're looking at here. Uh, 81 on Thursday, 83 Friday. Uh, we'll climb up into the mid to upper 80s, maybe by Saturday and Sunday, and then cool off a degree or two out there on Monday with a passing afternoon shower or thunder shower. Southern Union State Community College live Doppler HD radar. I mean, we're looking hard to try to find some moisture out there. We don't see anything other than maybe a little bitty. I'm talking about you could walk through it, uh, shower over there around Thomaston, Georgia. Uh, other than that, just nothing happening out there this morning on the radar. Don't forget to follow us over on Twitter. It's at DSTREN 1040. We broadcast all of our weather information on Twitter, just as we do on Facebook, YouTube, and at DrDonWX.com, our home out on the World Wide Web. We invite you to get in touch with us if you own, excuse me, if you own a business or if you're part of a civic organization county or municipal government, uh, church groups, uh, social groups. If you would like to partner with us here on Dr. Don's Weather and keep us going, uh, then get in touch with me and I'll tell you how you do that. It's very quick. It only takes just a few minutes of your time and we can have you started by the time we do our very next weather forecast, which if the good Lord's willing and the creek don't rise, will happen first thing tomorrow morning here on Dr. Don's Weather. Y'all have a fantastic Wednesday.